You do realize that this thing might explode with us inside? Once we start smashing things? It's a risk we'll have to take. Let's save the world. Welcome to the Magnemizer, the ultimate doomsday machine. It will be the only thing left standing in a few moments. Calculating every magnetic energy force on the Earth, I will now refocus all those forces to reverse the poles and flip the whole planet. It will destroy everything topside. The skies will be filled with dirt, and the sun will become a distant memory. It will turn your world upside down. You're upside down! To continue your tour to the next floor, or if you would like to leave this floor alive, I will need to see the science badges. We're shutting it down. Shut this down? The power to this impressive machine is secure underground in an underwater cave. For tours of the underwater power and pressure station, you will need to survive me, and then make an appointment with a power pressure god named Doug. The magnetizer is ready to go full power, you can't do anything to stop it. Shutting it off is no longer an option. We're not gonna shut it off! We're gonna destroy it! We're gonna tear this thing apart! Destroy the magnemizer itself? I didn't think of that. Well, maybe I can convince you to run for your lives instead! What's that saying about out of the frying pan? He's getting away! And so should we! Oh, we're history like the rest of this place! My factory! It's falling apart! There will be many explosions. I was ordered to make 100 giant Gilgenbots. Then my function would have been complete, but my factory was unable to finish more than 97 by today's deadline. 96 of them are in the hangar, and the Underminer has one up top. That means we missed by three. Unacceptable. I have set the back of the self-destruct to cover my failure. Well, that's 96 robots. We won't have to destroy ourselves. Knock yourself out! Negative, Topsider. I will need to destroy everything. It's a pity this hemisphere of the planet will need to go to. Whoa! Let's go! Crazy save the world today. Cool. Attention, friends of the crust! Witness the power of my personal Gilgenbot as I destroy your so-called supers! And I, the Underminer, will come down on all of you! It's over, Underminer! Pretty much! Enough of this! Die! I forgot about this robot. I have a feeling we're gonna wish we could. What? What's happening? I warned you. I have a message for your worthless city as well. Meet your new leader. When I am done with you, I will fix the Corruptorator. Will I have your planet under my thumb? The scientists are free and the plumbers are gone, Underminer. This monstrosity is out of order for good. We can do this the hard way, or the ice way. Freeze it. Ah, ah, super. I had it all worked out. I had some bosses. I advanced evil technology and made doomsday devices worthy of maniacal laughter. <laughs> you broke it all. At least you thought you did. Quick, get him! Oh, man. What didn't we break? I thought we blew up everything. Even though the top side may not be dark, and the robot army has been delayed, some top siders may see this as a sign and try to fight back. But when the meters read max pressure, the corruptorator will sludge the sun babies. The undivider will rise and oppress them all. It will be doomsday! What in the world is that? It looks like that thing was created to turn the whole planet upside down. We need to catch the Underminer fast. The Magnemizer. Whatever this thing is, it's doing whatever it's doing right now. We need to turn this thing off. Magnemizer first. Then we take down the Underminer. 
we can take a shortcut through the sludge station. L looks like some sort of giant sludge pumping facility. We can exit close to the magnemizer through one of the smaller pump stations. What are we waiting for? It's showtime. I don't think leaving that weapon behind was part of his plan. He may have been anticipating us, so we should be ready for anything. Come on! I'm glad that's over. Over? <laughs> We're just getting started. I am done. I was talking about the robot invasion that you guys just took care of. What is it trying to say? The robots. Oh, you think I sent them? No, no, no. I wanted them out of here. I was just about to take a nap when they all rushed in. Yeah, yeah, we know all about this evil power station. I see. Well, I don't really have anything to do with running things. I am quite aware of the substantial energy and pressure needed for the Underminer's Corruptory. The machine is nearly as big as one of the top side cities. The scientists and plumber prisoners up there run the place, against their will, of course. They come down here to adjust things. I think our next stop on this little underworld tour is to visit that monstrosity. I think you're right. Help me get to the scientist's back door, and I will tell you how to stop the Corruptor. This fall, Mr. Incredible and Frozone return to nonstop action in the Disney Presents a Pixar film, The Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer video game. Journey underground with the two superheroes in the next incredible saga as they team up to defeat the Underminer. The game features an all new storyline, new playable characters, and state of the art graphics. Join us as we take you behind the scenes to meet the team responsible for creating the game. Disney, Pixar, and THQ welcome you to the making of The Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer video game. Heavy Iron Studios is THQ's Los Angeles-based development studio. Heavy Iron created the original best-selling Incredibles video game and recently completed work on the Rise of the Underminer game. Well, this game, you continue right at the end of the movie with Mr. Incredible and his family's there, and we start off with Frozone showing up to face the Underminer. In The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer, you play Mr. Incredible and you play Frozone. And the great thing about it is Mr. Incredible and Frozone both have very different abilities. Mr. Incredible's all about strength. We gave him super moves where he could pound the ground and just knock out every, everything. With Frozone, you can freeze guys, you can ice glide. Frozone can freeze projectiles that Mr. Incredible can now pick up and throw right back at the guys who shot him. I am looking forward to a playable Frozone in Rise of the Iron Miner. So to have him and Bob, especially together, is awesome. And now it's not just you by yourself playing. It's you and a friend, or you and a parent. And at any time during the game, your friend can jump in and be one of those characters. And you can still switch between characters when your friend's in there. And if they drop back out of the game, your game is still just like it was, it was never interrupted. For The Incredibles Rise of the Underminer, the main villain is the Underminer. He made his debut at the end of The Incredibles film. So what we decided to do was really just kind of take off from that point. From one line of The Underminer at the end of The Incredibles, then all of a sudden there's a, there's a game which is just The Underminer. I think uh, it's, it's fun. Know this? The end of your planet has just begun! The character, The Underminer, since he'd been underground, all he'd learned about being a supervillain was maybe from early 80s professional wrestling. It won't be long until you are begging for mercy! <laughs> I'd give it about an hour. That kind of level of intensity where there were a lot of hand gestures with everything. Behold the Underminer! I am always beneath you, but nothing is beneath me! Eventually, you'll fight a couple of the Underminer's robotic creations. Driller robots that the Underminer has used to create these vast underground worlds and Mr. Incredible and Frozone 
are beating their way through them to finally get to the Underminer and defeat him. We got to work a lot with Pixar, with their creativity, with their animators, with head story people, and create something totally original. You can just expand on that feeling that you get from watching the movie, the excitement, the fun, the drama, the great characters. In the video game, you can be them, you can control them and have fun playing them. And for everybody, they get a little something different out of it. This game isn't just for kids. Every single person that enjoy the movie will love this game. Thank you for joining us for the making of Disney Presents a Pixar film, The Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer video game.
I understand, Underminer. The deadline has changed. I have never missed a deadline. Ninety-nine more Gelgenbots shipped to the surface to complement the flooding. This day will still be mine. The fall of civilization will be the rise of the Underminer. Reports confirm those supers are heading in your direction. All right, Markers. Let's get these bots finished. Watch for intruders. They'll be the ones trying to destroy my factory. at the wrong time. It's showtime. <laughs> and begun the rise of the Underminer! Honey, we'll go after the Underminer. You and the kids stop those drills. Let's go. I have no supervillain ambitions. I wish to remain here away from others. You said you'd tell us how to stop the Corruptorator. Just free the scientists and the plumbers he keeps prisoner up there. Without them constantly maintaining level power and pressure to the Corruptorator, the whole thing will... Will what? Blow up? It's directly below the city! It won't blow up. It will just stop working. A few pipes may burst. I would estimate at least nine small explosions. The Underminer has no idea how to do any more than press the start button. Free the prisoners, and the world is safe until the next time the Underminer strikes. Understand? We dig it. Rated T for Teen. Disney presents a Pixar film, The Incredibles Video Game. Super Strength. Super Speed. Invisibility. Elasticity. These are your powers. Bombs, bullets, robots, lasers. Your enemy controls them all. The only way to survive being the Incredibles is to truly be incredible. 